Little Fox. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Chapter Six: The Right Medicine. Soon, Tom stopped worrying about the murder because he had something else to worry about: Becky. She was sick, and Tom thought she might die. Tom was so worried about Becky that he stopped playing with his friends. One day, Tom waited outside Becky's house, hoping to see her. When he didn't spot her at all, he was sad. Aunt Polly worried about Tom too. To make Tom feel better, she tried lots of new remedies that she read about in a woman's magazine. One remedy was giving Tom a cold bath every evening. Afterward, Aunt Polly would wrap him in many layers of blankets until he began to sweat. The treatment didn't help; it only made Tom quieter and sadder. Next, Aunt Polly talked to her friends, and they recommended a medicine made from chili peppers. Aunt Polly decided to try it on Tom. She gave Tom a teaspoon of the medicine and watched his face. Tom's mouth, throat, and stomach felt as if they were on fire. He screamed and ran around the room. Aunt Polly was pleased because Tom was finally acting like himself again. She told Tom that if he didn't feel better tomorrow, she'd give him more medicine. Tom quickly decided to be less sad. Tom wondered what else the medicine could cure. The cat, for example, was suffering from laziness. The medicine had made Tom more active, so maybe it would make the cat more active too. Tom gave some hot chili pepper medicine to the cat. The cat leaped into the air, screamed, and ran around and around the room. He knocked over chairs, plants, and bookshelves. Tom thought it was the funniest thing he had ever seen. Aunt Polly came into the room just as the cat jumped out the window. What's wrong with the cat? Asked Aunt Polly. Tom was laughing too hard to answer. Aunt Polly saw the teaspoon and the medicine bottle on the floor. How could you treat the cat like that? She asked sternly. Tom said, "The cat's been lazy, and you don't love him enough. So I felt sorry for him. I decided to love the cat like you love me. I gave him some medicine." Tom's words made Aunt Polly feel bad. She hadn't meant to be unloving, so she apologized. She explained she only wanted Tom to feel better. Tom smiled and said, "I know you meant well, and it worked." I think the medicine helped the cat too. I've never seen him move so fast. Tom was still smiling about the cat when he got to school, but his amusement soon turned to delight. Becky was back. Tom tried everything to get Becky's attention. He jumped over the fence. He walked on his hands. He even did cartwheels off the school steps. But Becky was still mad about Tom being engaged to Amy first. Ignoring Tom, she turned to a friend and said loudly, "Some people think they're so smart, always showing off." Tom was so angry that he ran into the woods. There he met his friend Joe Harper. Joe was angry too. His mother had punished him for something he didn't do. Tom had an idea. "Let's run away. That will make them sorry." Joe agreed and said he would like to live on an island. Tom and Joe were planning their new lives when they met Huck. Huck was also dissatisfied with his life. People didn't like him because his father was a drunk. Huck thought running away sounded fun. Huck helped Tom and Joe steal some food and find a log raft. Together they pushed the raft into the Mississippi River and headed for Jackson Island. Once on the island, the boys became pirates. They took turns being their favorite pirate. And they had great battles on both land and sea. Life as a pirate is great," said Huck. "I haven't had this much fun in ages." The other two boys agreed. "We should explore the island," said Joe. "We should look for buried treasure," shouted Tom. They spent the rest of the afternoon exploring the island and looking for buried treasure. Being a pirate was hard work, and by early evening they were tired and hungry. It's time to build our camp," said Tom. "I think I saw some sailcloth snagged on a log," said Joe. "That will make an excellent tent," said Huck. They made a tent, cooked their food,
talked around the fire and went to sleep. <laughs>